So, Iowa, like so many other states that we've gone through, like, it reminds me a lot of, like, Oklahoma. Because... Middle America. This is Middle America, and this is what you see. Where you are, like, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And then just, all of a sudden, a farmhouse will pop up. Um, but... That's really it. I mean, it is flatlands and nothing. <laughs> so, you got the, the big interstate coming through. We're on uh, I-80 right now. And uh, we're heading south on I-80. But yeah, as you can see, not a lot going on in Iowa. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans? And Where the Heck Are the Albans? We are in Kelowna, Iowa. Um, Kelowna, Iowa. Kelowna, Iowa. Um, heavy population of the Amish down here, but we are at the Kelowna Creamery right now. Um, and they are a cheese, uh, cheese makers. Um, so, but we're, we're at the creamery right now. We're going to go on in and we're going to check it out. This is all part of our little getaway weekend. So you... No uh, children. No children this weekend. Woo -hoo. So just our little getaway. So let's go on in and check out the Kelowna Creamery. So the Kelowna Cheese and Creamery. Here is the Kelowna Creamery. It's a shop and it's a deli. You can even see where they make the cheese in here. Becky, we can stick our faces in there and be cows. That's okay. That's okay? You don't want to do that today? Right, check it out. They show you how they watch and watch to learn about milk processing at the farmer's creamery. So they got a video and you can learn all about milk processing. Antique cream separator. A cream separator. 1919. What's the year? 1919. 1919. Like that. That doesn't look like it'd be fun to use. I like to go to the store and do it. <laughs> but look at they got future plans up here that they're gonna build on to this. And they're actually gonna have a butter production facility. Cheese production. We're here. So, so we're right here. So the butter production was right where we walked in. We came in right here. And we just here's where Becky didn't want to take a picture as a cow. So right behind this wall is where they're gonna start making butter. And this is the the cheese production place right here. Production coming soon. So you used to be able to see through these windows and see them making the cheese and everything. But not today. This is a creamery package manufacturing company gauge set. Manufactured in Chicago, Illinois. So here they have the inside the creamery, they got a deli little gift shop and places where you, have, you can buy all kind of sausage and cheese and milk, all that kind of good stuff. And even a little t-shirt place. Look at all these different spreads. These are all homemade spreads by the Millers. Strawberry, rhubarb, peach spread, raspberry spread, blueberry spread. But you know what they say. Uh oh, don't rub another man's rhubarb. They have different collections of cheeses. You can try different kind of cheeses here. What do they got? They got smoked. Sneak, bacon, young, and black pepper. How's that young cheese? She's Good? like a baby. No, I'm just 
Oh, that's pretty good. Try a little bit of the smoked. Oh. That's the popcorn you're talking. I love that popcorn. They're little baby popcorn. They're tiny, tiny, tiny kernels. And uh, that way you don't get the, the little kernels stuck in your teeth. Heirloom popcorn. It's really good. They're in their butter. And all sorts of kind of cheese spreads. Look at this. They've even got a lobster cheddar. Buffalo, cheddar roasted red pepper, cheddar bacon, cheddar cheese. Deli window. They got made to order from 11 to 2. All these different kind of sandwiches. They got roast beef and dill, ham, havarti, turkey, bacon, cheddar. And then hot sandwiches. They got roast beef fillies. Italian melt, grilled cheddar cheese, hot salads. You can try their summer sausages and their cheeses here. You got like a chipotle pepper cheese spread with tortillas. And Becky's gonna get some of this. It's uh, sweet bologna. But I cannot have any because there is pork in it. I am deathly allergic to pork. I don't know if I ever talked about that before, but I do have an allergy, and my allergy is pork. I cannot eat pork. I break out into one huge hive. So I always have to be very careful and look Guess at the what? ingredients of what I, of what I get. You can totally eat this. I can eat that one. That's, that's a different brand than that one. Beef, brown sugar, salt. Dextrose. Spices, sodium, lactate acid. I can eat this one. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. I can have that bologna. You can have this bologna. Yay! We're gonna get some cheese. We're gonna try some uh, spinach artichoke dip. But Becky got some, uh, what kind of cheese did you get, huh? Pimento cheese. Oh, pimento cheese dip. Awesome. Well, that is a bit of a bummer that they have this all blocked off. Like I said, normally all these windows are open and you can actually see where they would have made the cheeses here, the different kinds of cheese. But unfortunately, everything is blocked off with paper, so everything's under construction. But look, I had a good piece of cheese but in there. We have a bag full of goodies here. You had a good piece of cheese in there? What kind? It must have been so good she bought some onion and garlic white cheddar. That sounds good. Yes. And see, anything that says Kelowna Creamery on it, they actually make right here at this facility. So. We shouldn't have come here when I was hungry. No, we shouldn't have. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't eaten yet. We haven't eaten lunch yet. We haven't eaten lunch. We do barely we had breakfast. Do we have dinner reservations? Yeah. Uh, yeah. All part of the, the factory. So, like I said, that little front part is the store, and this is all the factory over here. Okay, so just in case we have a microwave in our hotel room, we don't know if we do or not. Look at what Becky bought. She bought the microwavable heirloom popcorn. We'll show you what that looks like when we when we pop it up. If not. We'll that we'll show you tomorrow. We'll take it home and we'll show you tomorrow. If we can, our children are massive, massive popcorn eaters. Yes. So yes. We, we eat popcorn. I would say, if, if, if not, if not every night, yeah. every other night, three or four times a week. Three or four times a week, we're making popcorn of some sort. Yeah. So, um, so unfortunately, like I said, they had the windows blocked off. They're doing some construction at the Kelowna Creamier, Creamery. We'll have to come back. So we'll have to come back one day. Yeah, it's not too far. What was it? Four hours to get here? Yeah, from I'm Chicago. Good. I mean, we stopped. Oh and yeah, well, we stopped at, at the and... We stopped at the Iowa 80 yesterday. Uh, you saw that vlog yesterday. Um, and uh, we went to the, huh? Well, yeah, everything is done today. Yeah, However, today. see, I'm wearing the same shirt. You're seeing, yeah, yeah, yeah get we're the same all. Shirt in. So, but now we're going somewhere pretty cool. This is all be one one vlog. The Kelowna Creamery, and where we are going next is called Riverside, Iowa, and there's something very special 
about Riverside, Iowa, especially if you are a science fiction fan. More specifically, if you are a Star Trek fan. Just so you know, we will be time traveling into the future. We will be time traveling into the future. So, Riverside, Iowa, coming right up. All along, I don't know if you can see, along the side of the, on the shoulders of the road, a lot of what they call horse apples, uh, a lot of horse poop. And the Amish, they, uh, they use the side of the road a lot. Uh, so, oh my gosh, goodness, right? Look at this. As I speak, coming up, here is a horse and buggy traveling down the side of the road. There it is, right there. And here is another one. And another, uh, another horse and buggy coming. Look at that. Alright. Oh my gosh. I just can't get look any better that, than that. Look at that picture that she just took. In a moving I mean, that, damn in car. In a moving car. That was amazing. Good job, Becky. Thank you. Okay, we are in Riverside, Iowa. There's something very special that happened here in Riverside, Iowa, or will happen. But let me just take you around here to the post office because they had special stamps even made because of this town. And everything revolves around Star Trek in this town, and you'll see why here in a second. But Riverside, where the trek begins. So there is the Enterprise. And these were the other stamps that they made, September 10th, 2016, the Forever Stamps. Someone beaming up, the Enterprise, Live Long and Prosper, and another one with the Enterprise. And then they also have signs around the town. Let's show you some of these signs. And there are signs like Riverside, Beam Me Up, Scotty. And Riverside, where the trek begins, there's Chekhov. And Ohura, right here. And Murphy's Bar and Grill. Something very special happened in Murphy's Bar and Grill. And we'll show you that here in just a second. Because Riverside, Iowa is the future birthplace of Captain James T. Kirk. And apparently, in the future, this yellow building will be no more. Because there will be either a house, or maybe a doctor's office, or a hospital. We just don't know. God, I hope so. We just don't know. But let's show you what let, let's show you what's right behind this building here. So right now stands the new image salon. 648 hair. But right behind this place is the birthplace of Captain James Kirk. So as we walk around the back of this building, let's be careful here and there is a stone pathway. And there are donations welcome to the USS Riverside Federation Class 2.5. And here it is. Da -da -da -dum. Riverside, Iowa. The future birthplace of Captain James T. Kirk. March 22nd, the year 2228. So we only got about 10 years. 10 years? Oh no, 210 years. <laughs> 210 I years. Didn't see the I didn't see the two. Ah. 
Yes, in 210 years, this is where James T. Kirk will be born. And look at this. They got this new fence painted over here. Oh, Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Ta-da! Here we are. The future birthplace of Captain James Kirk. James Tiberius Kirk. We should come back here, I bet, and see you go ahead. what happens. You go ahead. Maybe, maybe the kids can, or our grandkids. <laughs> maybe our children will see this. <laughs> They'll say, this is where, this is not only the birthplace of Captain James T. Kirk, it's where our grand, great, great, great grandparents stood. Yeah. And made absolute fools of themselves. All the time. What's that sign say? This incredible apple tree will lay the groundwork for a future apple orchard that will fill this area on which you stand over to what is now 2nd Street here in Riverside. There will be many, many trees, but this old and knowledgeable tree will be young James Kirk's favorite. He spent many hours swinging, he spent many hours swinging on the rope swing his father lovingly made for him. He dreamt of what wonderful adventures would await him beyond the stars as he looked skyward day after day. We all know how his trek turns out. Go boldly, friends. Very cool. So in all 110 right. years. This will all be apple orchard. And progress apparently. Will, progress will reverse. Progress will reverse. <laughs> It'll be apple orchards and either this will be demolished or this will be the Kirk's home. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> it was almost a death spot. <laughs> of Matthew R. Alban because of that rock right there. Almost killed me. You are the biggest nerd. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go down to uh, Murphy's Bar and Grill. So one of the things at Murphy's Bar and Grill in Riverside is this plaque on the wall. And it says that Captain James T. Kirk was conceived at this point on June 22nd, 2227. Um, now it used to be in that room over there, it looks like they're remodeling that room over there. There's a pool table, or there was a pool table in there. And that pool table, this plaque used to sit underneath the pool table. Um, but there was too many people disturbing games of pool trying to climb under the pool table, so they moved it. It was in the, on a wall right over here, right where you see that ladder, and now they've moved it out here to the main restaurant part. But yeah, so James T. Kirk was conceived inside Murphy's Bar and Grill on June 22nd, 2227. Now, before we were vlogging, we've actually eaten here before. We've been here before. Twice. Uh, twice. We and came. one time we came for the parade. Every year they have a parade here, don't they? I'm not sure if it's every year. It is. But, uh, yeah, so Becky uh, and the kids and I uh, came before we were vlogging. And we saw the parade one year. And it was that was fun. It was, it was a really good time. It was up. Yeah, we dressed up. Uh, we went in, came in our Starfleet uniform. Um, today I, I have my Divided Allegiance shirt. As you can see, it says Divided Allegiance. And I have my, oops, sorry. And I have my Enterprise and my Millennium Falcon on one side. But uh, we're eating later tonight, so we just ordered appetizers. Thank As a matter of fact, they're just come out. Did you awesome. need anything else right now? No, that'll do it. Thank, thank you. So we ordered what's called cheese balls, which is basically deep fried cheese curds. And we got some deep fried mushrooms. Uh, Becky got a beer, and I got a Henry's hard soda. Great flavor. Because he's a child. Because I am a child. But yet, you know, I'm not a big alcohol drinker, but every once in a while. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna enjoy our appetizers. And then uh, later tonight in Coralville, uh, that's where we're staying. Uh, we're gonna have dinner 
at a, uh, it's supposed to be a really good steakhouse. And just so you know, when you're in Riverside, Iowa, the arrows that say like, you know, which way to go on the road are the Star Trek symbols. <laughs> That's awesome. So they have, this is the History and Star Trek Exhibits Tourism and Visitors Bureau Souvenir Shop for the future birthplace of Captain James T. Kirk. So they do have a little museum here. Listen as, listen to the door. They even have the door sound. I know. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so we just signed the captain's log. They got the two Kirks, William Shatner and Chris Pine. Okay, so I did see. What's that? I did. <laughs> This chainsawed wood statue in Riverside, first likeness of Captain James T. Kirk, carved in 1994. Pretty good for a chainsaw. Oh my goodness. Becky is. Make it sound. <laughs> Becky's playing Captain. <laughs> what do you mean playing? What do you mean playing? <laughs> That is pretty darn awesome. It swivels too. Pretty cool. Oh. That, that was easy. Here they have some of the uniforms. Ah, uh, yes, sadly he has passed. He was in a car accident, a car accident. Wow, look at that set down there. That's, that's pretty darn cool. Transporter room. Trek action figures, ships, There's a phaser. I like the bobbleheads. That's why they were giving away at Burger King. I remember the glasses. We used to have the glasses. We used to have, yeah. We have actually we have all the glasses. Look at astronaut Dave Wolf signed an autograph picture to the Riverside History Center. Reach for the stars. It's pretty darn cool. Joe Lindgren also. Look at all the people that signed the... These are all the uh, astronauts from the Apollo missions. where they had the very first space shuttle and they named it the Enterprise. Okay, Becky just held up the best shirt. Look at this shirt. Live fast, die red. <laughs> the red shirts. <laughs> that is awesome. For those who like to live dangerously, this is a red shirt. All the different models, the ships. They even have an autograph of the entire crew from Enterprise. Scott Bakula, 
and the rest of the cast. That's pretty awesome. I like the, the Hot Wheel ships. Or the cars. Riverside History Center, this is Carolyn. They even have Star Trek Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It is open on Sunday from 3D Chess. Look at all the different weapons, the different phasers. And the Klingon bath lift. I like these little scenes. These are awesome. I have this Christmas ornament right there. We own that. This is the wedding suit worn by William Shatner in the film Invasion, Iowa. It was a film that they made. Check out the exhibit in the restaurant. And this was also oh, yeah. his chair. It's a small area. So I like the side of the bathroom. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Look at the Christmas tree. Look at the Christmas Yeah. It says, watch it on Netflix. It's called Invasion, That's Iowa. And everybody that was in the film signed this big sign that said, Welcome to Billville. <laughs> There's different things from the movie. This sign right here, that's the sign right here, <laughs> the big sign. And if you did want a, to do a, if you did want to do a photograph, photos are logical here <laughs> in the transporter room. Yes, and we're actually going to be doing some more work on it. We're going to be putting this little semi-circle over the front and some lights and awesome. And here are some of the uniforms. From Star Trek. Wow, it's wider than a skinny little thing. And these are actual props from the or costumes from the TV show. Oh, the clerk. The clerk. From the, the next generation. Well, if it says to check out the exhibit in yeah. the restroom, yes. then we have you to. Have to. Oh my goodness. So you would sit in the captain's chair and you would look like you were sitting <laughs> at the captain's station on the ship. <laughs> that is great. They've got all sorts of different t-shirts. The one that says Starfleet. And the different chapters. That one's kind of cool. Like I like that wait, one. Wait, wait, see if he needs anything else. Yeah, sure. You got everything else in your bag ready Obviously. to go. So. Riverside, Iowa, Starfleet Academy, United Federation of Planets. That's a good shirt too. But this one, Live Fast, Die Red. That's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> we came here for the fest one year, and uh, yeah. we had shirts. That shoplifters will be assimilated. <laughs> so here's things that they got in there. Look at the coffee cups. This is the best cozy ever. Look at that thing. Ugh. It's got ears. They have actual dirt. Look at this. That's from Captain Kirk's birth, future birthplace. And it's got a certificate of authenticity in it. Mm -hmm. Our children aren't with us this time. Yes. And look. And that's Kirky the Hawk. Kirky the Hawk. Is, and he's even wearing a, a captain's yeah. uniform. That's awesome. Okay, well, thank you so much. Well, thank you okay, for Okay, what's, and what's your name? I'm Carolyn. Carolyn, okay. Nice to meet you, Carolyn. Okay. That's great. Every year, 
they have a parade uh, and it's called Trek Fest. And this is always leading the parade. Now, you'll notice it does not say Enterprise on it. It says the USS Riverside, NCC 1818. The reason why they couldn't use Enterprise is because Paramount Pictures would not grant them permission uh, to actually call it the Enterprise. So, but if you do want to check out Trek Fest, you can go to www.trekfest.com, and but it is the parade is the last Saturday in June, every June. So you can come on down and check out Trek Fest, Riverside, Iowa's annual Trek Fest, the official future birthplace of Captain James T. Kirk. And there is another donation box right there. But it is sponsored by the Riverside Area Community Club. And here is the USS Riverside. What a fun town. They really, they take their Star Trek seriously. Also, there's one of those Amish flags that they, you see on the side of barns down here. And uh, they've got the USS Riverside right on, right on their barn flag. <laughs>